some of my previous students asked me how we can have multiple fields with the same name. Well, you can't really. Let's say in this example, we allow visitors to enter two emails and we can name them email one and email two. But what when we have like hundred of fields like that? Hard coding them is not the best way to fix this problem. So let's create two email fields and instead of naming them email one and email two, we will name it email and open and close brackets to tell the browser that this is an array field. So simply copy and paste this email field and placeholder will be email. Let's say work email and pers personal email. And as I said, we are simply opening and closing brackets, which is indicating the array field. So let's get back to the browser refresh. As you can see, they're appearing here. So let's get back to the public controller. So we can take a look if it actually going to return both emails. So we're just going to access the request email field and remove this else. Now let's take a look. And let's send the message. And as you can see, it's returning array of the email fields. This is very useful technique and can be used in many different ways.